Hi, and welcome back to Buy Real Estate Philosophy. My name is Ahmed, and in this video, we're talking about the latest launch coming from Imar in Ras Al Khaimah. Now, I have received a lot of requests to make a video on Ras Al Khaimah. We are going to make a full in-depth analysis of Ras Al Khaimah very, very soon. But for the time being, we do have this new Imar launch. We're going to talk about this first. Now, for those of you who know about Ras Al Khaimah, Marjan Island, this basically is an island. It's like a nice getaway staycation type area that is very, very close to Dubai. From downtown, it's actually only 45 minutes away. And from the Ras Al Khaimah International Airport, Airport, which yes there is an international airport in Ras Al Khaimah it's only around 15 minutes away we'll get to more details about the airport later in the video now the most important fact about Marjan Island and the reason it's very very hyped up right now there's a lot of developers that are coming up especially here when developers like Imar is because of Wynn Resorts now for those of you who don't know Wynn Resorts is a company that runs casinos around the world they have a lot of massive casinos and they have obtained the first casino license here in the Middle East it's going to be in Marjan Island in Ras Al Khaimah this is why this is going to be so hyped up it is going to be a massive massive tower we'll make a video on that very soon as well. This is going to be on one of the islands in Marjan Island. Marjan Island is of course consists of four different islands. Talking a bit more about the address project, it is going to be on the View Island which is the tip of all the four islands combined and the reason it is called the View Island is because it does have the best views of the full-fledged ocean without any other developments coming in this way. Again as I mentioned about the Wind Resort, the reason it's very very hyped up Wind Resort, they are investing over five billion dollars in this project. Not only that, they have also ordered 10 Boeing planes as well which will be running a wind airlines that will be basically running flight around the world directly into Ras Al Khaimah airport so you can imagine the kind of traffic there will be here in the future in Marjan Island and of course that's why it makes this project very very amazing as well for those of you who want to short term run it out long term run it out or have it as like a second grade vacation home as well or want to make that sweet sweet capital appreciation that's going to be there once all these developments are going to be completed in around 2027 to 2028. Now moving towards the MR project this is going to be an address branded project now for those of you who know address is an MR brand it is the hospitality brand of Imar. These are not going to be hotel apartments. They're basically going to have the design ethos, the furnishings, all these kind of things that address bring with their vast experience in hospitality. The previous launch, they did launch a couple of buildings before. So this is the second phase launch. And in these buildings, they're only going to have one and two bedrooms and three bedroom townhouse. And as I mentioned, it is the best location in Ras Al Khaimah. This is going to be on the tip of Marjan Island. So you have full uninterrupted views of the ocean. Now going into the prices and sizes, one bedroom around 1.7 two beds are going to be around 3.2 they're decent sizes fairly standard sizes and the pricing as well three bedroom townhouses they're going to be around 7.8 million very very standard in mar sizes there's nothing crazy about this project apart from the location the address brand of course great for short-term rentals or long-term rentals capital appreciation and of course if you want a secondary home and a lot of people they do do that where they can buy something especially in the first phase launch we did have a lot of clients who bought it for themselves as well but of course they're not going to live in Ras Al Khaimah so they will be using it as a vacation home and the rest of the time they can let it out on Airbnb Airbnb, so make that sweet sweet return on investment and of course use it for themselves as well as like a nice staycation area because it is address branded the lobbies are going to be amazing furnishing all these kind of services that do come with that address brand the hotel design ethos is going to be an amazing one Mar is not the only tier one developer that is over there we have Aldar which is moved in in a massive massive way we had Nikki Beach over there of course we have a lot of existing hotels we have move and pick over there we have Hilton over there we have the Pullman hotel over there as well we also have the Radisson Blue so this is going to be a very very hotel staycation type destination type area and of course Mar being a tier one developer one of the best developers in Dubai they have secured this amazing plot in the best area as I mentioned the view island right in front beautiful beaches they have their own private beach yes they do have their own private Private beach access all the amenities and everything that come with it right next to it is going to be as i mentioned the wind resort with the casino and everything so it's fairly close to the casino it's fairly close to everything else currently there are quite a massive amount of visitors but according to the statistics they're expecting around 10,000 hotel rooms that are already there this is going to add to that pile but supply is very very much less than demand of course having the casino there and the hotel there as i mentioned wind airlines is going to run their own boeing planes to have direct flights around the world you can imagine the crazy amount of visitors that are going to come not only from around the GCC and the Asian side to come for the casino worldwide people are going to come they're going to need hotels they're going to need amenities they're going to need beaches all these things are going to be provided you being an investor a landlord you can capitalize on that great opportunity right now again this is the second phase first phase is done this is going to be the second phase there are going to be a couple of more phases as we know in each phase the prices they keep increasing they appreciate at least five percent to ten percent by the developer themselves so by the time this project is going to be completed it is going to be around 2027 
to 2028, the entire island, most of the developments will be completed. And that is the time where you're going to make that capital appreciation. That is the time when the casino starts rolling in, the visitors start coming in. You will really, really get to see that capital appreciation, that demand for people who will want to buy this project. This was just a quick overview about the new launch. Bookings will be starting very, very soon. You can let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And typical Imart launch fashion, they come fast, they go fast. So the launch will be very, very soon. We will have to deposit your passport copies and 10% check if you're a resident. If you're an international buyer, then it's just your passport copy. And when you are allocated a unit, we'll basically send you a payment link, which you can pay conveniently. Of course, you don't have to be in Dubai. This is basically the buying process as well. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now. And you can conveniently reach out to me directly on my WhatsApp by scanning the QR code at the top right corner.